Hey there YouTube, this is Stream 4306 back with another repair video. This time we're going to take a look at this uh, new Nintendo 3DS XL. Except for it's not new, it's used. So it's a, it's a used new Nintendo 3DS XL. Anyway, thank you Nintendo for that. Anyway, um, basic problems, like none of the buttons work. Touch screen doesn't work, but it still turns on just fine. And this is one of the limited edition um, Galaxy style units you can see nice and shiny but anyway you just turn this on and show you that none of the buttons actually work I can't even hit close on the touch screen <laughs> left right nothing joypad nothing B works I guess the face buttons work because I was able to enter the camera. I can just uh, exit out there. Yeah, so these face buttons work. Um, I don't know what the nubbin does on the uh, menu. I don't have one of these myself, so don't know if that's supposed to do anything. Start and select don't do anything either. Y does nothing. It's supposed to pop up the... Uh, camera and I'm hitting left and right and ZL and ZR and nothing's happening so yeah oh yeah I can't even use the screen to turn it off so yeah um so we're gonna just pop this guy open see exactly what's going on so two screws obviously for the uh, battery there are little finger holds you can get your fingernail into and there we go This battery not swollen good and yeah remove the SD card haven't opened one of these up myself ooh that's not a good sign on the side of the SD card I don't know if you can see it yeah you can see it's glossy it's actually sticky someone spilled something on this luckily it didn't get on the contacts but yeah Jeez, another liquid damage unit looks like, unfortunately. So who knows if I can actually repair this, but... So there's a couple screws, two on the bottom corners, uh, top here, and maybe under these um, rubber little feeties. Uh, I'm going to pretty much take out every screw that I can find, though. Okay, yeah underneath the uh, little feet, two extra screws. From the way that the screws felt when I was unscrewing them, I'm pretty sure I'm the first person to actually open this. Okay, so I can already feel it's uh, pretty much loosening. I'm gonna have to kind of open it towards the back because the uh, headphone jack is in the way here, so have to clear that careful um, once again the ribbons are probably yeah I'm just gonna disconnect them there's one on this side and uh, there should be one right here I'm just gonna get my fingernail on those and undo those right now so that they don't pose a problem okay so don't see any uh, obvious liquid damage the uh, liquid sensor is not tripped it uh, doesn't mean that there isn't liquid damage, though, especially since the card was sticky. Let's see, the card goes in like this. Let's see. Anything obvious? Mm, not seeing anything blatantly obvious. Uh, so, I guess we're going to have to go in a little bit further. Just going to undo this ribbon. It's for the, um, all the buttons on the side there. It's for the D-pad and the circle pad. Don't see anything abnormal about that, but let's, um, start pulling ribbons and maybe try reseating it and seeing if we can get some buttons to actually work. Okay, so what appears to be uh, pet hair, 
which is uh yeah not not so great fun fact i am um not deathly allergic but highly allergic to um animal dander so yeah i'm gonna wash my hands really well i don't see anything odd um other than lots of pet hair coming off of this so yeah great So it looks like um, the card reader is actually a separate board. Interesting. I'm almost wondering. Just want to see reseating the uh, face button connectors. If there's any change. Just going to very carefully hold this. In place. Obviously there's no, um, I took out the circle pad so it should kind of go crazy and it does. <laughs> when I press and hold the uh, d-pad it stops so obviously it's getting readings. So here, let's just shut this off. And now the uh, touchpad started working. It did not work before. So I wonder if um, maybe the ribbon wasn't seated quite properly and it was giving some signal that was interfering with it um, reading the other buttons. For instance, if you have a broken circle pad and it's always pressed in one direction, um, it could actually prevent it from prevent you from pressing the other buttons. Uh, this is just a guess, obviously. I'm just gonna see. Just inserting this back in because I just reseated the. Uh... I just reseated the uh, ribbon right here, so maybe that had something to do with it. Let's just get this in. go and try that test again very carefully line up turn it on looks like the uh, circle pad works now d-pad works um, Y button works which wasn't working before shoulder pads I'm sure they work now the uh, screen works so, that's an interesting failure mode. I mean, there that is really weird that it's sticky on the SD card, but it's only sticky on the SD card. I can't see any other liquid damage here. So I'm guessing maybe, you know, there's someone who inserted the SD card, maybe had something on their fingers or something when they were touching it. So it's not necessarily, that was a red herring. It's not ac actually that that caused the problem. What I think was either the circle pad or this ribbon here, was slightly unseated so that um, it was constantly pressing one of the buttons and I'm guessing whatever button it was pressing or whatever did nothing in the main menu but it prevented the other buttons from actually working so <laughs> this is a little anticlimactic but uh, I'm just gonna button this guy back up actually and uh, screw it back together and do a little uh, testing once more but I think that actually fixed it up uh, just reseating those two ribbons uh, which is I was hoping for something a little more complicated, but uh, I'll take it. So just carefully get this seated, get it lined up, put the battery in, turn it on, just verify that it works. Volume works. 3D works, D-pad works, touch screen works, Y, left, right, oh, I guess um, the ZL and ZR just shuffle it forward left and right faster, um, yeah, and this little rubber nubbin works in the same way that the circle pad does, so yeah, everything 
works. So yeah, let's just um, screw it back together and throw in a game, make sure to actually read a uh, game cart. Ah, wait, wait a minute. Ah, there's something intermittent, see? Closed it back up, the buttons are not responding anymore. Ah, okay, that is interesting. So it's doing the exact same thing. It's something mechanical that when I screw it together, the um, pressure from screwing it together misaligns something. Fascinating. Okay, so thinking that it was maybe one of the ribbons or something was not seated properly, I took it all apart. I completely uh, disconnected all the ribbons, reconnected it, still had the same symptom. And then I noticed when I was looking very closely at the screen, the screen protector was like right up against the edge and it looked like it was um, almost pushing underneath the, um, the side bezel and pushing the corner of the screen. So then I thought, nah, it couldn't be that simple. It couldn't be that the screen protector was actually permanently pressing one spot on the screen protect, um, and then preventing any of the buttons from being pushed. I thought, no, that'd be too silly. So I was like, okay, fine. I can't leave any stone unturned. So I peeled it up, removed it, put it back on, you know, correctly centered roughly. And lo and behold, works perfectly. So basically... Um, everything was a red herring, pretty much. Um, it ended up being the screen protector was pressing the screen in the corner. You gotta be shitting me. That's actually an interesting uh, fault mode. So I'm guessing if you just press and hold the corner, yep, you can see here, none of the buttons work anymore when I'm just like pressing one of the buttons there. I just kind of go in an area where there is no button. You can see it makes it look like all the buttons are dead now. It does absolutely nothing. As soon as I release, it works. That's such a stupid, silly thing. Um, for this, <laughs> I did not expect that to be the problem. So anyway, uh, good thing though is I, I got experience in taking this apart. And... Um, it works now, I guess, and um, it was interesting seeing the inside of this. Uh, but anyway, let's start up a game, make sure everything else uh, works. Should. So yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this unit. Uh, I took it apart for absolutely no reason other than for fun. You can see, boots right up. Start a game. Run around a little. Exit. Close the game. Power off. Wow. So yeah, if you have one of these screen protectors and uh, your buttons just randomly stop working, uh, try removing the screen protector and see if that gets it to work again. That's um, a fault mode that I didn't expect to see at all. Um, I wouldn't have thought that just pressing on the screen in one area would prevent every other button from working. I would have assumed that Nintendo would have handled it in such a way that even if it failed, the other buttons would still work. Even if, like, um, what could have actually happened... Um, not in this unit, but potentially, theoretically, in another unit, if you get a short somewhere on your, your uh, touch screen, it could actually make all the other buttons stop working then, which is kind of odd, um, instead of just the touch screen not working from that point on. Anyway, I've rambled on for long enough, and this 
fully works now and that's all I wanted to achieve but I just ended up wasting about an hour <laughs> anyway uh, sometimes you get interesting faults like this that um, are not obvious and um, yeah so hopefully this can help someone anyway I'll see you guys in the next one bye